Hello, my name is Krishna and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this particular video, we'll be understanding the basic difference between business analyst and a data analyst. Now guys, from past many days, you all have been asking this particular question to me and I thought of making this particular video where I'll try to explain you the basic difference between business analyst and data analyst. We'll also try to see that what kind of key skills are required to actually become a business analyst and the other key skills which are required to become a data analyst. Now, since I've considered data analyst, let me consider a machine learning project or a deep learning project. So when I consider a project, initially the requirements will basically be written by a business analyst. And these requirements are very, very important guys, because these requirements will be passed to the development team for the further development. So suppose if something is not captured, then the product will not be developed properly, right? So it is very important that the business analyst communicate with the stakeholder and the product owner efficiently so that all the requirements are captured properly. Now, when I go to the key skills requirement, for becoming a business analyst so some of the requirements that they should have or some of the skills that they should have is they should be very very good at time management they should be very very good in running stakeholder meetings right even though they should also have a technique of handling or managing various stakeholders right uh, they should have a very good presentation skill and one of the most important thing they should have very very good communication skills guys so presentation and communication skill is one of the important key skills for a business analyst and definitely they should have this particular thing to be successful in this particular domain now i'll just tell you some story when i was a fresher initially you know and i was working as a software engineer at that time I used to see business analysts gathering the requirements. They used to talk with the client. They used to talk with the product owner. And they used to also travel a lot of on-site opportunities. So this was the interesting part that I liked about business analysts. But again, guys, their work is also quite hectic. Because if some requirement is not getting captured at the last, if they come to know that why this requirement was not captured, the blame will completely go to a business analyst. Now, I hope you understood what exactly a business analyst is and how do they work so they basically have to gather out all the requirements and make sure that they are always in sync with the stakeholders and the product owner so let us go and understand the role of a data analyst now after the business requirement is captured by the business analyst it will get forwarded to a data analyst or a data scientist now why i'm considering data scientist over here as you all know guys data scientist can also do the work of a data analyst so once that requirement reaches the data analyst what they will do is that they'll try to understand what data will basically get required in order to solve that particular use case so there will also be a communication between a business analyst and a data analyst and it should be very very efficient because if some of the requirements are not getting captured and because of that some of the data has got missed then it may actually cause a risk to that particular project so some of the important skills of a data analyst are it should they should have a good programming skill they should have good statistical analysis skills they should be very good at maths you know they should also be having a very good communication skills because half of the time they have to communicate with each other you know and they should be a very good storyteller so uh, apart from that statistical analysis is one of the most important thing that data analysts should have uh, when I say about statistical analysis, understanding the data is the main key term over there. They may use any visualization library to understand how the data is actually behaving. They should have very good statistical knowledge like correlation, covariance and many more things. And that will definitely help them to understand about that particular data, right? And after that, they should also have some knowledge about some visualization tools because visualization tools can be used in order to uh, create some beautiful diagrams about that data and that particular data can be forwarded to the stakeholders to make them understand easily. So this was the basic difference between a business analyst and a data analyst. Now I will just say two different domains with respect to business analyst and data, uh, data analyst. The first domain is basically called as business analytics and the second domain is something called as data analytics. Now when I talk about business analytics, everything is revolving around the business knowledge over here and when i call when i talk about the data analyst everything is revolving around the data over here so as more as you understand about the data the more efficient you become a data analyst the more you understand the business requirement over here that is the basically the work of a business analyst so both this particular domain is perfectly defined one is related to business the other is related to data so the, the data that is required will get captured by this the business that is required will get captured by the business analyst that is the most simplest difference between a business analyst and a data analyst so this was all about this particular video i hope you like this particular video please do subscribe to the channel if you have not already subscribed I'll see you all in the next video have a great day ahead thank you one and all